Hey, what is up guys? This is Bo or Carl Hungus 712 And I can say with regret that today is the day I'm finally going to decide to review Search and the one and only Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And uh, I figured it might be a bit early to do the Protect review, the but you know, I'm, I'm at the point now where as you guys can see from most of my gameplays recently I've been uploading that, you know, I'm just, I'm not playing the game that much. I don't enjoy the game. I haven't for a long time. But I'm still going to give you a fair analysis of the game, tell you what's good about it, what's bad about it. If, you know, if none of you have played the game yet or still, you know, hell, even thinking about buying it. But I'm sure most of you aren't, but, you know, I'm going to give you a little breakdown of the game. Kind of what I think of it, the problems I found with the game, the problems some of the others have found, and maybe some good stuff with the game. You know, was the game all bad? Was it, you know, was it absolutely fucking terrible? Like, you know, my friends and I, or most of my friends and I have thought. But uh, I'm going to give you a fair analysis. Now, the gameplay in the background you're seeing is uh, Junior and I were rocking some Black Ops 2 League play. We still love getting into this game and, and playing. You know, it's still a blast. Except for getting DDoSed about every night. Uh, Good job, just absolutely love it. I think I go 8-3 and three in this match. We end up winning. It's a lot of fun. Love Express Search and Destroy. It's one of the best search maps, in my opinion, ever made. But definitely have some good time. Get, I hit a couple of really nice snipes in this game, too, if I remember correctly. But Anyways, starting off with Advanced Warfare. This is the first entry for Sledgehammer Games. They also helped with Modern Warfare 3, in case you guys didn't know that. Um, Infinity Ward was the main creator of that game, but Sledgehammer did did help with the game a little bit. And I actually did like MW3 quite a bit. Uh, a lot of people, for some reason, really hated MW3, which kind of surprised me. You know, I, I liked the game quite a bit myself, but... Uh, uh, anyways, this was their their first entry, and of course they decided to take us quite a bit into the future. The, what is it, 2050 or something? I'm trying to remember exactly what year it was that they they ended up bringing the game to, but you know they bring it quite a bit into the future. So, and of course we we have our jetpacks, we have our futuristic guns, we have our laser guns, we have all kinds of uh, different different uh, exo abilities. That's what we call that exo suits and. You know, I remember I remember seeing the trailer for Advanced Warfare, and I'm just thinking to myself, God, you know, that game looks so... It, it looks good. It, it really does. Timeline. You know, the colors on the map are really clean, um, very colorful, bright, vibrant. They kind of remind me of Black Ops 2, which is one of my... That was one of my favorite things about Black Ops 2, was the, the color palette was just... I thought it was incredible. Um, and that's what I, that's one of the bad things I thought of, uh, with, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, which I actually like, of course, a lot, most of the community hated it, I actually liked Advan or Call of Duty, uh, Ghosts, but the color palette was really bad in that game, it was really bland, everything kind of blended together, but, uh, you know, just from the start, before I even played the game, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, man, this game's gonna be fun, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something new, a difference, might take some getting used to, but it's gonna be a good game. Good job. Get ready and just from the start, I, I just never really enjoyed it. Uh, one of my biggest points to start off with, of why I thought the game was, uh, was very poor, in my opinion, was, uh, first off, the connection issues with the game. I play on Xbox One, and I've got the fastest internet in the area. You can have really, really high-speed cable internet. Don't have destroy. problems lagging in any other Call of Duty game, in Madden, in uh, some of the golf games. I play like the Golf Club. Um, <coughs> when I play on the PC, on Steam, don't have any problems with that either. And uh, from the start, that's just... I've, I've gone into so many matches where, you know, I'm using a three to four shot kill weapon that's taken six to seven bullets to kill, and I'll get two shotted by a gun that shouldn't kill anything less than four shots. And of course, if, if you guys ever experience that in a game, it's not your fault, it's not that you're missing, it's just simply there's lag in the game. And unfortunately, you know, with with any online game, you can't fix lag. It's, it's going to be there. I mean, you can improve it in some ways, uh, you know, but there's going to be lag in the game. And But one thing I'll say with Advanced Warfare is the I had lag issues, connectivity issues the entire time, nonstop. So that was uh, my first big knock on it. My second uh, big knock on Advanced Warfare was gun balancing. 
And this is one thing I've always loved with Treyarch, and that's why they're my favorite company too. When you to compare it to let's say Black Ops Two, and I'm I don't want to get into the circle jerk that you know Black Ops Two was a perfect game. It wasn't perfect, but it was it was really good, and they did a really good job on it. But in Black Ops Two, basically every weapon had a niche. It had a it had a certain uh, thing about it that made it good to use. It, it had a special. All guns, even the Executioner, which everybody thought was a terrible weapon, it really wasn't. It was the perfect backup for a sniper. You know, somebody gets up close to you, pull out your pocket shotgun, blow them away, one shot, they're done. I mean, every single gun had a role. I could go into league play and play with just about any gun and, and have fun and do well. Same in public matches. Now, when it came to Advanced Warfare, there were so many useless weapons in that game. Uh, basically, when the All game came out, it was the bell, and that was it. And then, of course, after the patch, it was the ASM-1, followed by the bell. Then the ASM-1 was patched, and it's kind of 50-50 between the two. Now, there are a few weapons you can get away with. The H-Bar, that's my favorite gun. Um, I use it competitively and do just fine with it, but, you know, with the fire rate being a bit on the slow side, um, sometimes you can, you can uh, find yourself... You know, at a disadvantage or at odds when you come across a sub player, which you should be, anyways. You're using, you no, know, you're using an assault rifle, but there's just so many useless weapons in the game. Uh, a lot of useless submachine guns and in assault rifles. The Mark 14 was just that was that was an embarrassment. I don't even know why they put that gun in the game. You know, it requires many shots as it takes with that gun, and you know they finally, I think this last patch, they finally increased multipliers and stuff on the bodies, which helps. But still, it's. The gun needs to kill in two shots. The game's the game's played too fast. You need a two-shot kill weapon, basically make the FAL. But they didn't want to do that. But that was my second problem with the game. Third was the map flow, and um, you can't really say the spawns. You know, I can't say that the spawns in that in that game were bad necessarily, but because of the exo movements and how fast everybody moved in that game, I was constantly getting flanked and hit from behind and shot in the back. I can't tell you how many times I've, I went into public matches and there was always somebody behind me. You know, I wouldn't even take two steps, wouldn't boost one time, and I already had two people shoot me in the back. It just, the game, the game was too hectic, in my opinion. I think the maps needed to be, uh, improved a little bit. I think the maps were actually, for the most part, maybe a little too small. I think we might have needed more MW2 Call of Duty Ghost style maps Check where you know you had, you had maps that were big Good and job, wide open and, and stuff like that to make it just a bit better. But uh, otherwise I thought, uh, you know, I, I thought that was also poor in the game was the, the flow of the game. It just, it, it never worked. It just never worked. And uh, it was hard to control the maps. It was hard to, I, you know, I mean, I knew where people were going to spawn, but the spawns would flip so fast. I mean, you'd kill two people out of spawn, get ready to move to their next spawn, and they'd be already spawning behind you before you could even turn back around again. So, you know, the map flow was bad. I will say, the, you know, what Sledgehammer tried to do, and I give them credit for it, is they tried to bring something new unique and different to the Call of Duty scene and they really tried I, I give them credit you know they they tried but what Call of Duty needed wasn't exosuits that allowed you to basically basically create a complete clusterfuck on the map that's not what Call of Duty needed Call of Duty is a game you almost can't screw up and, and I've said that before in a lot of my other videos you know Call of Duty is a game that's hard to screw up you know balance weapons bring some new weapons in, bring new maps in you know, vibrant maps, colorful maps, fun maps to play. Uh, just retool the weapons every once in a while, and we're set, man. I mean, you know, I think of Call of Duty as being kind of like CSGO. You know, the same maps and same weapons have been used for how long on CSGO? You know, do, I mean, do the same thing. Just keep it simple. You, you, it's hard to screw this game up. Just keep it simple and keep it fun, and we'll keep coming back. You know, and that was the problem. And I, I do, like I said, I do give Sledgehammer credit uh, they did try something new, but, uh, you know, that's, you know, I, I, and it's true. I, I mean, I give them complete and total credit. They tried, uh, you know, I, like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't impressed with the game, but I will give them props on that. Two, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people have said in some of the Reddit forums on the, especially on the competitive side that, you know, you know, Mr. Conjury, you know, he's doing what he can. He's releasing a lot of different patches every now and then, but, a lot of the updates they've done haven't really fixed the problems in the game. They've, you know, slowly and sh slowly they've improved a few of the guns and made them a, a bit more viable. But for the most part, the guns were, 
pretty poor. Uh, the DLC uh, I did buy the first pack. It was the maps were all right. They were they were you know decent for something different. But you know I weren't cra I wasn't crazy about the map packs the mission, um, all that or remains. the maps in the map pack. Uh, the new DLC looks good, but I'm probably not going to buy it. Like good I said, I'm planning on trading this game in and round. putting it down on Black Ops 3 because I'm hoping that game comes through. But we will see. You know if it doesn't, well you know Black Ops 2 for another year or. Uh, Definitely get ready for the Halo scene and uh, Rainbow Six coming up. But Switching those are sides. those are kind of the, the main points I wanted to give you today about it. Call of Duty destroyed. Advanced Warfare from my point of view. Um, and League Play also was a huge disappointment and a huge letdown. I, one thing I'll also say about Sledgehammer that I thought was a very bad idea was uh, gun variants. Uh, the problem with with creating the random gun variants for everybody is that some people got great guns right off the bat, and if you didn't, you were fucked. I mean, there was just nothing you could do. And the same thing in league play. Let's say I want to go into league play and play competitively. You know, I want to I want a fair and balanced field here. You know, <clears throat> bell on bell, ASM one on ASM one, and you go in there and everybody has variants that do twice as much damage or have uh, a bigger clip times four. You know, it's just you can't compete with that. And and I was really disappointed in the variants, you know. And I also don't think it should be a pay-to-play type of game or pay-to-compete type of game, which you can kind of do now with the advanced supply drops, but to hopefully get better weapons. But that's not a that's not a given at all. But like I said, I just wanted to give you guys some of my info and Check some input on the line. game. Like I said, I was very disappointed at Advanced Warfare. I do not recommend you buy it. Maybe if you've never played Call of Duty in your life, but if you're a Call of Duty veteran and you prefer the classic style of Call of Duty, I do not recommend the game. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this commentary. Let me know, though. Did you guys like Advanced Warfare? You know, am, am I wrong on any of these things? Do you disagree? Do you agree? You know, let me know in the comments section. You know, I hope to see you guys next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And bow out. Big win, job done.